Okay, we're going to call the Board of Health meeting to order. Uh, Emma is not able to come tonight, uh, but we have the rest of us. Margaret, Peter, Ben, ben <laughs> Marcy, <laughs> and yeah. moi. Okay, uh, so welcome everyone. Uh, Margaret, have you had a chance to review the previous minutes? I most certainly did since I wrote them up. Okay. And uh, I make a motion that if there's no questions, we accept the minutes. Okay. Good. Pass All in favor? Sorry. Good. All right. Update mm -hmm. from the health inspector. Okay. Um, so uh, a couple things. First off, I'm going to be on, on a vacation of the week uh, next month, August, between the 5th and the 9th. Um, went out to the pictures, that type of thing. But nice. we'll be back after that. Uh, of course, if there's any emergency or anything, I'm still contactable. All right. Thank you, Ben. Um, let's see. Craig's store. So there's a couple things on here for me, and I'm going to, they were already on my list to do it. Uh, so uh, Craig Stores, Tapestry, uh, followed up with uh, town um, manager and um, uh, she had reached out to uh, various departments to see what of those services we currently uh, provide as the as the town and police does provide some of those services already. And the question is whether Craig Stores is fully aware of all that. And so I reached out to them to try to get a sit down and to figure out, you know, are they being serviced currently? Do they know that the police offer these things? That type of thing. Uh, so we're trying to get an idea as to uh, um, uh, if we can link them up, what services they can get. But there is still some services that Tapestry provides that the police don't. And so uh, once we know what all we need from Tapestry, maybe not everything that we had, were asking for before, but some of it, then I can ask for another quote from them or what the cost would be for those okay. things. Good. But that's kind of like the progress so far. Uh, I should be meeting with them mm -hmm. next week. Ask for Great. today, but they were busy. Mm -hmm. So next week. All right. Great. Um, so probably by the next Board of Health meeting, I'll have another update, uh, more details on all that. Uh, the next thing is that the um, uh, collaborative, uh, there is a contract they've uh, put out. I've mentioned this uh, before to the board that uh, we've been working with them for a while, but uh, we're putting things in writing uh, more so than it was previously. Uh, the contract is, uh, in my opinion, after reading it, uh, very... Uh, uh, it's forward towards power to the to the locals as far as we can leave whenever we want. It doesn't cost us any money, uh, and so you know it, that's just those those are the big things to me. Does it cost us money, and can, do we have the power to leave if we so right. choose? And that's that's certainly the case. That being said, uh, it has to be signed off by the select board. Uh, they have to read it. Our legal counsel has already read it, uh, but they they need to select board needs to review and sign off. But I also would like to have the uh, board to just have copies of it to look at it. And so hopefully maybe the next board of health meeting, um, you guys will have uh, reviewed it. I'll send it out to you guys. Right. Uh, uh, are you, will you be at the so will you go to the select board meeting? I will go to the select board. Okay, meeting. let me know if you want me to come. Okay, so yeah, yeah. And I, I've asked for our legal counsel to be happy, there too. Happy to do that. Okay, thank you. Just thank let you. me know. Is that uh, next week we're talking? No, no, no. I'm, I'm because I'm going to be on vacation. It's landing on my, my vacation, but I've asked, so I pushed it to uh, later in August when they would when they'll come. Okay. Um, I'm around. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, all right, so um, let's see the uh, oh our uh, internship. They, they have signed off on it in the past, so I'm not. Yeah, you're not concerned about difficulty. it. Yeah, and there's yeah. no again, there's no poison pills right. everywhere. Like they're asking something right. from Hadley, you know, right. like it's, they're just trying to help us. Right. Okay. Um, uh, so our our new uh, intern has started. Uh, her name is Amani. Uh, and A M A N I. I believe so. Yes, okay. I'm terrible with names, but I believe that's that's correct. Um, so she's going to be doing a hybrid role uh, where she's going to have a laptop, uh, do some work from home, but also she's going to be visiting the food establishments. Again, we're talking about risk assessing the food establishments. Right. So there's some on the on the ground stuff, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of like you know she has to review the inspection reports, for example, Good. and that doesn't have to be done you know in a in an establishment. Right. So uh, it's a hybrid role, and hopefully at the end, either we will have completed or we'll get have a pretty far down the down the road. Um, 
risk assessment for all of our food establishments. So we'll be able to inspect That's the ones that are more dangerous. I don't want to say dangerous, but you know, risk. There we go. Risky. Uh, uh, more often, and the ones that are less risky won't get inspected. So that's the goal. Um, all right. The next thing I have on my list is it's arbovirus season, which is uh, um, mosquitoes. Uh, and so far, uh, Tripoli has been detected uh, positive uh, mosquito samples, but in Plymouth County. So we're quite, quite a bit away. Our risk level currently is low. Uh, West Nile virus also uh, has been detected. Uh, but not in our immediate vicinity. Our risk level is the closest to so far has been East Long Meadow uh, on the 15th of July. Mm -hmm. um, so it's still early in that season, though. So uh, and, and, and mm -hmm. given the um, uh, how the weather has been, mm -hmm. there's a, a, a higher risk this year than in years past that we might have some of those issues pop up here in Hadley or our immediate neighbors. Um, okay, so then the next item here is uh, the um, we want to launch a tattoo apprenticeship. Um, maybe not a program, but but we want to put something in writing as far as um, a bylaw related to that. We've already uh, uh, put in place um, tattoo or uh, well, body art. Um, uh, regs that we didn't have previously, and those are perfectly fine. But this one, there's not a model from the state. However, there is, uh, uh, for example, Northampton has a, an apprenticeship. There's apprenticeship rules in place there. And we have a body art establishment here in town that have asked to bring in some apprentices, and they're asking, what are the rules? What do we do? Um, and so uh, what what I'd like to do is try, try to put together, we have some we have ones that have already been in place in, again, Northampton. We have one in Cambridge. Right. Um, and we do have uh, mm -hmm. uh, some national mm -hmm. standards, uh, NEHA, uh, which is uh, um, which is an organization that deals with uh, environmental health, um, that type of thing. So I kind of like to kind of take those together, put them together, run them through legal, see what, see what their feedback is. But all that is going to take some time because I don't have a model that I can just like grab off the state's website and, and go. And so uh, that's just, I just, I'm letting you know, is kind of like a kickoff. So you guys are aware Great. that I'm going to be working on it. Okay. We're probably we're talking about months here for before you guys see anything in writing. Um, okay. Uh, next thing is uh, camps were inspected. Summer camps, they were all pretty good inspections. It went pretty smoothly this year. Uh, better than last year, even though there was nothing terrible last year. It just was quicker and easier this year. They knew what they, knew what they were doing. So that went well. Um, uh, perks have been are now being done year round. We, we had some done last last week. Um, things are running smoothly on that. Uh, just letting you guys know we, we have now executed on that. We're doing it. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we've seen an increase in complaints uh, in the past month or so. Um, housing, food, Title Five. Um, these are none of these are especially um, uh, yeah especially difficult or, or unique or, or confusing or anything like that. Just letting you guys know that there's been some more that we've been responding to. Uh, and, uh, uh, and you know, it's, so far it's gone smoothly. There's been no real issues uh, related to that, but we're still we're following up on those. Okay? And if anything was pop up more, I'll, I'll let you know. I'm just letting you know there's a bit of an increase. Okay. I think that's it for me. Any questions? It's great, Ben. Thank, thank you, you for thank everything. You, thank you. Thank you. Guys. Um, the uh, sewer issue. Did, did you hear anything further on that? You know, getting no additional. the template. Okay. No additional. Right. There was there was nothing else that provided uh, any uh, the the documentation that was requested, and uh, no response back uh, indicating that there was any other concerns. Yeah. No. No. That's great. I just meant like a map or. Oh, like that. You know tie, what? I haven't, I haven't gotten anything back. I sent an email requesting, but I haven't yeah. Gotten anything back okay. Yet. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Peter. Um, <clears throat> so from my viewpoint, um, you know, the, the, the applications coming in for permits right now is obviously a little bit slow. Uh, we've had a couple of stragglers come in, uh, people who are renewing their, um, uh, resellers or excuse me, retailers uh, permit for selling tobacco. We've had a couple that uh, applications just come in in the last week or so, and they actually expired June 30th. So 
they're probably whatever three weeks three weeks late but uh other than it's been pretty quiet um uh, haven't seen too many food truck applications recently there's not a lot going on with those at this point um the we uh as I think I mentioned in the last meeting, uh, the town is now using a new accounting firm. They're in Leominster called a point and a point. And uh, essentially, <clears throat> my my interaction with them is anytime a check comes in, uh, and, um, yeah, I let them know that, okay, here's what's happening. I send them a turnover sheet as well as letting the, uh, you know, the town treasurer know as well. So again, that's in the case of a live check. And any invoices that need to be paid um, now goes to this new accounting firm. They're they're more automated. They're better staffed than the firm that we were using previously. And again, this is town wide, so it's not just us. It's you know DPW, police, fire, so on and so forth. Um, so that's that's actually running fairly smoothly. Um, the only other thing that I'll mention is that um, in the last week or two, I've been reshuffling if you will some of the the old uh, uh title five files that are uh in the cabinets um from circa 19 whatever uh, any redundant uh documents that we have with regards to septic designs and plans and whatnot uh the older stuff if you will has been put to bed put to rest if you will um and kind of retooled, you know, the capacity that we have in one of the uh, uh, filing cabinets so that we we should now be able to go in and get pull something out of the file without struggling, without struggling with right. the paper. Uh, the the long term goal obviously is to get all this stuff digital, but we're not there yet. It's not in the budget, so on and so forth. Um, so it's nothing that. You know, I we don't need to champion that. There's so many other things going on. Right. I tap it over now. Um, in terms of vacation, mm -hmm. uh, just to let you know, uh, I'm going to be out uh, July 31st, just for the day, and then um, the week that Ben is going to be out, uh, I'm actually out three of those days as well. But I'll be available either by tax, email, so on and so forth. So. Um, again, right now it's been fairly quiet. Um, you know, once uh, you know the fall gets here, we start talking about you know renewing permits for 2025. So mm -hmm. yeah, the things will pick up a bit. But uh, other than that, uh, things that you know running fairly smoothly. And uh, uh, Kevin uh, Kevin Quinlan, who is uh, still assisting somewhat with some of the uh, uh, Title Five stuff, he's actually going to be uh, going. Uh, going on medical leave for a while, but, you know, he's already communicated with Ben and myself and yeah, Ben's got obviously everything pretty well covered. So uh, great. So it's in pretty good shape. Other than that, it's we're good. Good. Thank you. Sure. Marcy. Uh, well, I started to work just a straight day on Tuesdays. Yeah. And, um, it seems to be working out quite well. The numbers are pretty good, good for the people who are being, you know, who are checking in. Yeah. Um, and then I, you know, as I do every month, uh, this month I'll have a uh, coffee with Marcy on uh, skin cancer and, you know, That's great. protective ways. Yeah. And then next month I'll do, be doing common ailments on feet. In the senior cool. population. Excellent. So that's a really important oh, it'll be one. A, it'll be a good one. Yeah. So that's that nice. one. Mm -hmm. Have you been in contact with like our collaboratives, nurses, that type of a thing? They're pretty cool. They're, yeah. they're, they're good by uh, good people. Um, and I know it could usually start to talk about running a flu clinic and a thing. They, I have been in contact with them regarding the flu clinic. Yeah. Or yeah. how should I say why that it's also you know she's yeah. kind of the point person. Yeah, yeah. And they are going to be also hopefully on the same day doing COVID. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As they're, well. they're trying to combine them. Yeah. Yeah. So I am aware that there's no date set. Okay. But they're going to try to go earlier than they did last year. Yeah. And they were late October last yeah. year. So they're going to try to do it earlier. 
if you want some like support in any of your meetings or anything like that, um, uh, you might want to reach out to them because they're always trying to help us with stuff. So it might be good to just connect with them a little bit just to see, you know, if they if they can ever give you an assist on something. The other yeah. thing is they've mentioned that they have materials like uh, training materials, that yeah. type of a thing. Yeah, like um, on checks and things. Yeah, like that like type of too. stuff. So so yeah. they might be able to send you over something that can give you something a little interactive mm -hmm. for training. Or, I only know because they've mentioned it. it's not my alley, yeah. but, I, yeah. but I haven't or thought about it. The other thing is, Marcy, and it's up to you, but you could, or Violet, that they would probably do programming here that doesn't involve you, that you wouldn't have to be a part of. That would be nice. Talk to Violet. Yeah. Or reach out to them yeah. because, you know, they have... A lot of staff, mm -hmm. and they're they're kind of like looking for stuff to do. Is that right? Yeah. Is the point person Jennifer? Is that is is that name ring about? I you? don't okay. know. Uh, you know what I'll do is I'll I'll uh, if you can. One of us has to remember to to email the other. I'll try to remember myself. Okay. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll give you their contact information. And yeah, uh, you can just call them. yeah you can call them yeah. too. But but um, like email, mm -hmm. I'll send it over emails. I don't know who their point person is at yeah. the nurses. Yeah. yeah. But you could just. I know that they've they've mentioned a few times. If you guys need anything, you know, yeah, for they, training stuff, the, contact us. Contact the point us. being not to create more work for you. Right. Uh, right. But if they have talks right let them sc yeah. schedule a talk here yeah. you don't have to yeah you know okay yeah. that'd be nice yeah let's yeah. just use it because it's available it's just really a heads up sure. yeah. mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh ben marcy peter thank you for everything that you do thank you guys uh, yeah, thank you thank you really it's uh it's really appreciated duly noted and deeply appreciated thank you yes. Uh, anybody have anything else that they would like to? Uh, okay, should we set our so, next set meeting? the date for the next uh, meeting, which would be the first uh, weekend in uh, the first Thursday in August? Is, is there any way to change that to the second one? I'm sorry, it is the second. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, I was just about to say, me and yeah. Peter are going to be gone. Yeah, when are you going to be back? Fifth through the ninth. So that is the second. Sure. You are so. so you do the third. I'll, I'll be here for the third Thursday. Yeah, let's do. We can make it the third Thursday. I'm not sure. I will be here. I'm having hand surgery, mm. um, like just a few days earlier. So I'm probably sure. won't be typing. No, I'm, I'm sure. I won't All right. Well, we'll try to get Emma. Yeah. So what date is that? Uh, that would be the fifteenth, yes, uh, August fifteenth. So we'll say that that will be our next. Uh, yeah. Kevin? Yeah, I can do it. I'll send them a... The, the only other... Uh, I've written myself a note in the office, of course, I, I left it there. Um, I don't know if everybody knows, but Margaret did a great job uh, updating our webpage, our homepage. Margaret on, did. On the internet. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's now update. Um, it doesn't talk about what's going on in 2022 <laughs> any longer. It's uh, what day? 2024. So, uh, it would have been the third Thursday. Give me a second. I think we're still waiting for one of the forms regarding her testing. It might It'd be the 15th. I couldn't find that five. Um, but I think everything, but everything else I think is, is, is up to date as I Yeah. Could make it at that point yeah. in time. Yeah, so Thank it, you. It, it, it's much better. Thank you. All right, so next meeting will be August 15, 6 30 p.m., Senior Center Social. All right, oh. so if Margaret is not available and if Emma is not available, I'll reach out and we'll find a different. Okay. We'll do the week after. Yeah. Okay. But we'll Smart. tentatively say for oh. August 15th. Okay. okay so. I'm not going anywhere. I'm around. If something comes up while you're away or whatever, I can, I mean, within my skill set, sure, yeah. I can do it. <laughs> okay. Which is not broad. <laughs> it's not broad. But I can show up. So <laughs> if I'm yeah. you, you, Margaret can go up and down right now and do some food inspections. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Been there, done that. So right. We're going to to adjourn. Uh, going to adjourn all those meeting. in favor. Aye. Aye, aye. Uh, the meeting is now adjourned. Thank you.